fight is scheduled for five two-minute rounds of K1 kickboxing action, and it's for the WKBF K1 light cruiserweight New Zealand title. Coming to the red corner, please give it up for And in the blue corner, please welcome Jake McCallum! at all times and protect yourselves at all times. It's K1 rules, other than that, good luck gentlemen, let's go. Time on for this and uh, I've got to say that I am really excited to see Jake Redneck back in the uh, the ring. And he starts off really strong here. That was a right hand that just missed. And this is what I've missed, <laughs> not seeing Jake out there. I saw him have his first fight many years ago at the Mungary Tavern. And followed his career. Uh, he's had a break and is back in, but he's in, in against a real tough customer here tonight. Connor Woodman, uh, given as good as he's taken out there at uh, the start of this one, and he's he weathered the storm. And will uh, recent fighting, whoa, that was a real bell ringer with the right hand from Woodman. He goes forward, tries to land the knee on a awkward angle there. So uh, he's sharp here tonight as well. They settle down into a little bit of uh, civility here. Red net. Using the hands more than the feet here. Both fighters are relying on the punching. Oh, there goes a nice right hand from Redneck and he comes forward again. Woodman ready for him though. Don't know too much about Connor Re Re uh, Woodman, but uh, certainly uh, he's got my attention here in around number one of this. There's some real strong, powerful bombs being thrown. Both fighters still on their feet. Which 
is a little bit surprising as they go to towels after round number one. Cut and touch up the gloves and straight into the action again. Will it be as torrid as the start of round number one? Well, it looks like it just might be. Both fighters back in their hands. Both being able to dodge the big ones so far. Nice work timing on the. Uh, the low kick from Redneck, who gets a little bit of a warning about holding on to the ropes while he uh, did that pretty, uh, pretty cunning move. It's going to be turned into a, a battle of attrition, I think, uh, between these two. Wow, nice work by Woodman to work that head down and just about landed the coup de gras. The good knee, nice work from uh, Redneck downstairs. Something that I thought he might have uh, employed a little bit more. That uh, had plenty of power in it, that uh, knee. And he got the response from Redneck, was a, a shot straight down. He misses with the, the right, comes back with the left and works the inside of the thigh as well. Does red net. So both guys really putting some good combinations together, as you would expect from this class of fighter. And the big question from me is who's going to run out of gas first, or are they both well conditioned to go the, the full distance? Another one behind them.
Bell goes and out they come out, uh, round number three, and uh, once again, they get up nice and personal immediately. Talk about the war of attrition, and uh, both fighters still show, throwing crisp combinations here at the start of this one. Uh, both able to go high with ease. Turn from a brawl into a chess match. Woodman wants to go out on with it, keeping Conan in the corner. Redneck. I can get out of here whenever I want to, but at the moment I want to engage. Oh, sneaky little uppercut. Redneck for and the, uh, the high kick as a reply. Put everything into that, and we saw in between rounds that Woodman has done a little bit of. Uh, Tenderness on the inside of the right leg, up above the knee. I'm not sure that Redneck's corner is, a, is aware of that. There hasn't been a target here in, uh, in this round so far. Oh. Whitman walked into a couple, but he just, instead of just walking into them, he walked right through them as the bell goes and back to the corner after three. Territory here, and it's still nothing between the pair of them. Still, both had their times on a, a fence and uh, time in the attack, uh, and there was a beautiful shot right down the channel from Woodman, and immediately Redneck goes back. I took to the middle from Woodman. Guys have been, oh, 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 he fouled that one. I don't know if he was going to say that he low or not. Chris Hansen took no notice of that. He's come back. Woodman really trying to finish it here. Redman nothing to do with that. Woodman won't go away. Wow, taking the best shots and he goes down to the body again, doubles it up. Oh. There goes another good strike downstairs. He's trying to get that head down. Watch out for the knee. There's a lot of 
thought going under the patches here. This is why they're in championship territory. This is why they're going for the title. Because they are champions. They're thinking quite a good round for the red corner. Stuck it up with one to go. Fifth and final round, great round number four for Whitman. And he immediately goes over and tries to cut the ring off. Redmond knows that he has to, uh, Redneck I should say, knows that he has to do something big here. I think the knee's gonna go, oh, he works downstairs again. I knew that knee was gonna come sooner or later, and Redneck really has to dig deep here. Oh, how tough are these two? Woodman just refuses to go away. And there it goes again. Tries to get the big bony structure up high. Jake Rednick. Still looking for that one shot that can turn things around. And he's gonna land it, he needs to land it now. But the defensive skills of Woodman have been up to par as well. And so it's Redneck that tries to get the, the knees into action. Oh, those body shots have been a killer from Woodman. What a fight. Great stuff, guys. That's the sort of fights that we see here at TMT Fight Night. And, uh, woo. Thank you. 
Will. Thanks, bro. Hi, guy, boy. Hi, guys. Fights that you aren't given, that you have to work the hardest for, they're the ones that you appreciate the most. And that is certainly one of those fights.